Hello everyone. Now I'm going to tie a, a fly. It's a next generation, let's call it like that, the fly I tied last time. I'm going to use the same hook as before. Uh, it's merger barbless size 14, a uh, little bit heavier wire, but still good for dry flies, of course, and nano silk. So start your thread more or less where you want your wings to begin and make a nice foundation for your uh, hurl and for the super glue of course so sorry for the shaking take just one, one uh, hurl here remove the tip tie it in by the tip of course go back this will create a slight taper you don't need much taper here this is supposed to be delicate fly that's going to be used mostly on calmer waters for uh, more selective fish of course if it's selective fish then it means that this fly is supposed to be an imitation of the actual hatch but you can use it for blind fishing just cast it on any place where you expect trout to be and it's not rising at that moment so this probably more or less enough as a base layer now the same super glue again and it's enough to put a little bit of super glue at the back and then distribute it around the hook and to the front this is gel so you have a little bit more time than with a yeah, thin one you know and this one doesn't go too much into the thread but still the thread will soak in this super glue. Uh, try not to use too much of it because it will uh, glue those uh, micro barbules from, from the hurl and it will destroy the appearance of your fly. But anyway, your fly will going to catch fish. So I'm using my hands again. I'm not going to, uh, to tie it in, in like two touching turns just like one next to each other uh, another and it's going to, to create like perfect little segmentation here now I can use rotational okay this is going to be enough one two and one two but the second pair of wraps completely unnecessary now I need to add CDC I'm using three CDC feathers smaller ones light colored one at the top and darker ones at the bottom so I, I aligned the tips previously I'm going to pull all the fibers together like so just work it with your fingers and then lay it on the top of your hook like this Make sure everything goes on the top. Create like UV shape. Okay. Extend your wings a little bit more over the bend of the hook. One, two. Now press hard. And then check is everything okay? Should be okay. Go a little bit back. Should be nice. Now cut the excess. Okay. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, it's cut by the angle. So you can use this to tie and secure even more the CDC. Pull your CDC back and up, so it will stay on the top of the of the hook. That's very important. Okay. Now, next step is to add. A little bit of scroll and UV dubbing and don't use it too much uh, it's okay to use just a little just to cover the thorax part okay I'm going to use it like this it doesn't have to be too thick but you can always brush it out I like to make nice thorax here okay wrap it around a little bit more okay leave the room for the head pull back those fibers and that's it we've finished the fly 
you can brush your fly a little bit if you want make a nice head here use sharpie if you want to cover uh, to color it I'm too lazy to do that so okay nice little head and sorry for the noise now brush it like this so you can see like there is a little bit of shiny fibers in my dubbing I like to use it every or like on almost every fly this is it almost indestructible fly after a while of course fish will destroy this curl but you'll have more than enough fun on just one fly okay thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time